second setup, sunset. I forgot my intro, so now once again, I'm Mike Leinert, a photographer, videographer, cinematographer, multi-talent, whatever. Um, I'm doing a lot of things over 13 years and that's why I want to share my knowledge now. But we are talking about this Com light adapter for the Sony A7 Mark III and nothing else. Just how you mount your Canon lenses with the Sony A7 Mark III or other Sony Alpha cameras. I use over the years, the past like two years, three years, um, the Com light. That's right. So I'm using the Com light CMEFEHS adapter. Before I used the Com light EF NEX. Uh, this is a little bit of an adapter. The out of focus is very slow, so I used it on my Sony A7S Mark II. Now I have the Sony A7 Mark III. So I had this problem, this adapter was not really good. The autofocus was really slow. My 85 mm from Canon was not working. The 24 to 72.8 on the Sony, it was working, but the autofocus was very slow. I couldn't find the point and everything. Now in May 2018, Comlight released the new version, which is for high speed autofocus and it's the uh, CMEF EHS but there are two versions that one I had it at first this is with the USB outside and that one here is with the USB micro here the reason why I'm telling you this is this is for firmware update and if you have this adapter contact uh, Comlight and try to replace this to the new version so the difference between the version number one and number two is that put the USB micro in, in the adapter and not outside on the body. So the little pins are a little bit smaller and also there is inside something to avoid that the dust going on your sensor. Uh, they changed it and put a new firmware update on, it's V22 and now you can shoot with your Sony A7 Mark III and the Canon lenses. The Comlight adapter is for the price. The quality is amazing. I had only one issue over one and a half years. The little screws like there was a little bit um, uh, was unscrewed and I need to screw them a bit. So yeah, what do you have here? I read just on the package, um, make it easy. Use Bay firmware uh, update. That's what I was telling you before. So then you have super high speed out of focus function. 100% agree with this. Of course, I tested with the Sony A7 Mark III and the out of focus is really quick. Even I adapted with the Canon lenses and they're also heavy and have heavy glasses. Also the 24 to 70 was really quick. Um, I cannot say if it's quicker than the Canon 5D Mark III we have here but I feel it is quicker. So of course, I really love the autofocus on the Sony A7 Mark III. So what else we have here is face detection AF and contrast detection AF switch. So that's the little button here on the side. Um, what else you have is you have the active information transmitter and electronic aperture control. So it means um, your aperture settings you can see it on the screen right now. Um, you can see it on your Sony. You can control the aperture here. And also you can see, like if you take a photo, you see the aperture information in your Lightroom or in your Exif data. It gets, it's saved in the photo, in the DNG or whatever. And it has a built-in IS stabilization function. What that means is, if you have a lens with image stabilization system, not the one, that's only that one, then it works. So press the shutter button halfway, it's focused and it's the image stabilization system works. What I updated is the gold face contact pins and you get a little mount here for the tripod. It's pretty good, but I recommend use the 
when you have the 70 to 100 you use the plate here so you have the weight here and the whole camera is not holding and the whole thing is cnc processed aluminium and it's light and i i never have some issues that it's like break or whatever so you see i have three adapter for step one i don't use it anymore i use it only when i use the menu focus um, as a spare adapter but that one is pretty epic it's me how it works so i just <clears throat> go on menu mode so and then maybe you can auto focus on image stabilization on stabilization mode is on number two I use here the Canon 7200 f.2 and it's version number two. Yes. Photograph the camera and me. You see the button here. Maybe you hear it. One, two, three, check. Make it out of focus. Three, two, one. For example, the 85 millimeters on the lens without the cap it's the same you can use it very fast so one two very quick so another lens is oh my glass um this actually i can test how fast with the canon is so oh you don't have a display here so i focus the background there's nothing and then i press the button and So now I put a 24 to 70 on the Sony. I zoom in on 70. I focus outside. Now I focus to the camera in three, two, one. It's, it's impressed. It's just so quick with this adapter. So you don't have to buy the 24 to 70 2.8 from Sony. You can, but if you have a Canon lens, you can use your Canon lenses. Of course, the Sony lenses are really good. I love the G Master lenses. They are very heavy as well. The money, of course, their price range is a bit more up. I say always like you buy a new camera every two or three years and the lens you have maybe five to 10 years. And also you can film in 4K and everything and then you don't have any um, crop issues or vignette. Want to do more video, more tech video as well. How you use an ND filter, hyperlapse and time-lapse. I mean, just don't have the time. I have my script ready, but I didn't have the time to film this course at the moment. So I also want to do personal training about photography and videography. So yeah, just shoot me a mail. Thanks for watching this video. It means the world for me if you like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel. So I want to create more videos in future. See you in the next one. No calling. It's a new version, which is the Hey App. Uh, the coffee. The bureau with the coffee and then this and... I don't have a script. Let's do it. <laughs>